Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw another person from our family. Who are we drawing this time? Me. Me. No, you. Me. Hadley yes. from Art for Kids Hub. We hope you're excited and you're gonna draw along with us, but before we do that, what do we need to do first? Spotlight. Yeah, we need to spotlight some of our art friends, two of them, Hayden and Tiffany. Tiffany's the mom. Mm -hmm. And they drew together. That's so awesome, isn't it? Yes. It's always art is always better with friends and parents. <laughs> <laughs> now they did a great job on the challenge. And what did they do to finish their drawings? Add a background. Yeah. They added a background. They even drew the house in the background. And they also drew Jack Jack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great job, you guys. Congratulations on being our spotlight in today's lesson. Now, we have a lot of art friends that participated in the challenge, and they're entering stuff every day, and it's so cool to see all of their artwork because everybody is doing an amazing job on their challenges and finishing their drawings. Okay, you ready to draw? Yes. What, what do our art friends need for this lesson? Mm -hmm. Markers? Marker. Over here. <laughs> paper? Paper. <laughs> Let paper. me help you. Markers, Marker. paper, paper, and... Coloring. Colorings. Coloring. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. Okay, first step we're going to draw is your eyes, your pretty eyes. We're going to draw two circles, and we're going to draw them next to each other. And I'm going to draw them about this size, and I'm going to leave a little space in between them both. Good job. And then another one. So you got two eyes. Perfect. Then we're going to draw smaller circles in the top right for the light reflection or the highlight to make your eyes look shiny. And we're going to color in the big circle but leave the little circle white. Perfect, now we're gonna draw the top of your eyes and we're gonna draw an upside down U. So we're gonna start on the side, come up, touch the top, and then back down. Yeah, <laughs> then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Upside down U, touch the top of your pupil, and then back down. And what's rule number one? Always add eyelashes. Always add eyelashes. I'm gonna draw three eyelashes on the side of each of your eyes. Oh, that's super pretty. <laughs> I like your eyelashes. Okay, now let's draw your nose. We'll draw a little U in between your two eyes. And then we're also gonna draw your mouth and we can draw you happy. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm also gonna draw little cheeks, cheek lines on each side, and we can even add little dimples because you have dimples when you smile really big. <laughs> Perfect. All right, now let's draw your face. We're gonna draw your chin. We're gonna start right here on the side of your eye. We're gonna come down like this, and you could draw a little chin if you want, or just draw a U shape and back up. So I've got a little point down here for your chin. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> then let's draw your ears. We'll draw a C shape and a backward C. And if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to draw a little line inside your ears and a smaller C for the detail in your ears. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, but backwards. Yeah. Okay. Now let's draw the top of your head, your hair, your pretty straight hair. <laughs> and we're also going to draw a little flower. So let's draw the flower first. I'm going to draw a little circle. A lot of times we put a little bows in your hair to keep, keep your hair back out of your face, huh? Yeah. And then I'm going to draw little U's that go all the way around that circle. This is a cute little flower. <laughs> now let's draw the top of your head. We're gonna draw an upside down U. It's gonna start here next to your ear, go up, over, around, and then back down on the other side. I'm bald. Yeah, yeah. Me look a little bald, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna finish the side of your hair towards the end of the video, but we're going to draw your body first so that we can draw your hair behind. But let's give yourself some earrings. You have the prettiest earrings. They're always my favorite. <laughs> then let's draw the details on top for your hair. So some sometimes when you part your hair, it's on the left side of your head or over here on the right side. So we're going to start right here and we're, watch this. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a line that comes down and connects to your little bow or your flower. So start there, come down, connect to the flower. Yeah, and then we're going to imagine it going behind the flower and connecting down here to your ear. Then we can do the same thing over here. We're going to start at your part, draw a curve that comes down and connects to your, your ear. 
Oh, it looks really cute. Okay, are you having fun? Yes. Promise? <laughs> okay, uh, we're, now we're going to draw your body. So let's draw two lines that come out from your chin. So I'm going to draw them like this. <laughs> and we want these to be the same length. Then we're going to draw your legs. So we're going to draw an upside down V right here. And see how it's longer. So I started lower than the outside lines. That way we can draw your feet. Good. Now let's draw the little curve for your foot. And I'm going to draw on both sides. Yeah, and one on this side. And then let's connect the bottom of your feet. Now we're going to give you sandals because you seem to like to wear sandals all the time. Yep. Every single day. So let's draw two lines coming out from the bottom of your each foot. I like to, I used to beg for sandals like every day I know, day of and, school. We're, and we're like, you need to wear shoes when you go to school, but you were like, oh, you always just would rather wear sandals. <laughs> now let's draw. So we connected the bottom for the bottom of the sandals. Now we're going to draw the strap for your sandals. We could draw two lines that curve over the top of your foot, and we could do the same thing over here. Those are cute sandals. <laughs> okay, now let's draw your shorts. I'm going to draw a line for your waist. Then we're going to draw the ends of your shorts. So one line on each leg. And we can also add little details. Sometimes your shorts have little details down at the bottom. And we're going to draw connected U's for little pretty lace at the bottom of your shorts. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's so cute. You're so cute. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw your arms. I'm going to draw a J shape that comes down and then connects into your body. And then repeat that same shape on the other side. And we could also draw short little sleeves, two lines on each arm. All right, what do you like to uh, play with, Hadley? What kind of toys do you like to play with? Mm, a dinosaur. Dinosaurs? You love dinosaurs, which I, I don't and think... Dragons. And dragons. I don't think our art friends know that. You like super cute stuff, but you also like scary, and like slimy, yeah, lizards and, and scary stuff. stuff. And squishy stuff. <laughs> Let's draw a T-Rex in your hand, okay? I'm going to draw a big, what's this? A big curve that comes out like this. This is going to be for the top <laughs> of the T-Rex. <laughs> now right here, I'm going to curve back down for the nose. Then we're going to draw his mouth. So I'm going to draw a, a V or upside down V. And then connect his, <laughs> the bottom of his head into your hand. It's like Pac-Man. It kind of does look. <laughs> but let's add some teeth so it doesn't look like Pac-Man. So I'm going to draw two, three, two, or, sh two or three uh, sharp teeth. And then we could also draw a little dot for the eye. There we go. There we go. Now we need to draw little arms coming out. So I'm going to draw one curve coming out like this. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw a V for the fingers and then connect it back into a, your hand. And then <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing down here. Repeat the same step. Curve a V and then connect it back in. Now, you guys at home could actually draw anything here. You don't have to draw a T-Rex. You could draw maybe a sucker. You could draw, what, what else? A balloon. You like balloons, don't you? Yeah. Shopkins. You could draw Shopkins. a Barbie. All kinds of cool little cute toys. Okay, let's finish your hair now. So we're going to start right here on this side where we ended. And we're going to draw straight down since you have straight hair. Down. Down. Straight down. And then I'm going to curve into your hand. And then let's do the same thing over here on the right side. Straight down. And I'm going to end at the same spot that we did over here and then curve into the dinosaur. Yeah. All right, we're almost done. Let's just add a few more lines in your hair to make your hair look extra pretty. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down. Imagine it going behind the flower and then connecting to the outside of your head. And I'm going to do another one on top. So I'm going to do one more now we can repeat those two lines over here also. On this side, I'm going to draw another one. 
Oh, and then let's draw a couple. Like we could draw three lines coming down the back of your hair. I'm going to draw three lines on the right side too. Oh, she's really cute. I love it. Hadley, you did such a great job. Did you have fun? Yes. Now, we're not completely done, right? We still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we need to color your face. Okay, this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring our drawing. It looks so much better colored in, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Yeah, I love it. I hope our art friends are going to take time, pause the video, and to match the same coloring. Now, we're not completely done with our drawings, right? Yep. What time is it? Challenge time. Challenge time. We need to challenge our friends to finish their drawings by adding something in the background. What do you think they should draw? A lot more toys because I love toys. A lot more toys. I love it. You can draw lots <laughs> of shelves with tons of toys. Shopkins, what else? Dinosaurs, lizards. Dragons. Gi dragons. What else? Um, LOL dolls. Yeah. Lots of dolls. Barbies. All kinds of toys. That would be cool. Now, there's also another challenge I want to give you. This is a super challenge. I want to challenge you guys to do a whole nother drawing all by yourself, but draw a self-portrait. That means draw a picture of yourself. You could use a mirror. You could look in the mirror and then try to use a lot of the same. Yes, exactly. Use a lot of the same steps that we did in this one to try and draw yourself. I think it would be awesome to see the uh, pictures of themselves. Yeah. Now, when you're all done, be sure to ask your parents to post a photo on Instagram. Take a picture. <laughs> and then po <laughs> post it to Instagram, but tag us. Use two tags, at art for kids Hub, And what's the hashtag? Can you, can you remember it? AFK. Hashtag AFK. A -F -K H. H. Challenge. challenge. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> that one keeps all of the drawings together so it's easy to find. Then we'll pick one lucky art friend to spotlight in our next lesson. Should we say goodbye to our art friends? Yes. We love drawing with you guys, and we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing with us. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Bye.